Good morning, Acadiana. This is News 10's Dawson D'Amico. A manslaughter case was dismissed after 10 years due to a lack of evidence, and the mother of the victim speaks out. Good morning, Acadiana. This is Zane Hoag. In Bill Platt, Alderman Christina Sam filed a federal lawsuit against District Attorney Trent Brignac for violating her civil rights during an investigation into voter fraud. Good morning, Acadiana. I'm News 10's Rodrigo Taylor. In Lafayette, the Library Board of Control decided to postpone considering removing their membership from the American Library Association. I'm Renee Allen. The Lafayette Council Tuesday is to vote on the ordinance to declare the Moore Park renovation project a public necessity. The declaration opens the playing field, for example, for the acquisition of rights of way. 8 a.m. at Prejean's in Karen Crow. Wednesday morning, 500 Thanksgiving meals being given away to those in need across Acadiana. More details can be found on our website, KLFY.com. It's all because of Dustin Poirier and the Good Fight Foundation. And there's a look at the out the door forecast. So we're drying out, but we're going to have a lot of clouds today, and you're already feeling the difference in the air. It, it is cooler this morning as the damp coolness. We're going to be chilly, breezy today. Temperatures will stay here in the 50s and 60s. Skies will try to slowly clear later on, but I think mostly uh, gray skies through your Tuesday. But at least we're not dealing with any rainfall or any type of severe weather.